Women are not supposed to be speaking in churches. Oh, this is my man. This is the, I used to look at transgender guy. This is the best guy. You got to celebrate Pride Month with this guy. You know what I mean? And women are not supposed to be taking authority roles. Where have the men gone? Is there not a single man to preach or lead now? You walk into most mainstream churches and there's a woman leading the entire service. This is That's like not even true. What is he talking about? Also, the only reason why you want a man to lead you is because you want a man to lead you by a leash and just blow out your back walls, homie. Okay? That's what you want. This is the femboy addict guy. Yeah. This is blasphemy of the gospel. It says here in 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 11, let a woman learn in silence with all submission. And I do not permit a woman to teach or to have authority over a man. It's Waterhouse's Adonis, not his Hylas Hassan. Okay, good call. But to be silent. Listen to this part. For Adam was formed first. Come on, man. He's, this is, you guys not know this at this point? This guy's a classic. He said, I used to make, this man made LGBT decisions. Okay, we got to show the original video. First, then Eve. And Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived fell into transgression. Meaning, was it the man that fell or was it the woman? It was the woman who fell. And just like King Solomon, he said that he never met one righteous woman. Women are to be quiet in the church, dress modestly, and to be silent, never taking a place of authority. And unfortunately, the normality is women leading church services and whatnot, but this is not biblically true or allowed. This is the guy. This is the guy. This is why I had to actually completely stop watching porn and stop playing around with it. Um, By the way, this is Sean Cody. Make no mistake. These are two homosexual jocks that are going to go at it. Unfortunately for you, if that's your thing, you're not going to see it in this video. This is only the two minute intro. But they are definitely they're bumping uglies. Um. The porn I was watching gradually as I watched over the years upon years, it just kind of got darker and darker into whack stuff I never thought I'd be watching. And I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there that are watching some porn that is, is something you never, ever thought you'd be watching. Sixth grade, um, the porn, I jumped into some weird categories, man. This is tough. <clears throat> Transgenders having sex with chicks. And why am I watching this stuff? Well, because I'm opening myself up to spirits and spirits the more I watch the porn and I don't even realize it. You know, and as it gradually goes, it gets darker. And I was watching mm, uh, transgenders have mm. sex with like transgenders and then dudes. And, and I'm like, why am I watching this stuff? Eventually, the porn- Because you're into it, homie, and you still are, okay? <laughs> it's not going to be enough. Just like Ted Bundy, eventually the porn wasn't enough for Ted Bundy. And he started actually doing the acts, and I started doing the acts. No doing what acts? Doing what acts? He's like, yeah, just like Ted Bundy. Okay, let's Never, get back to it. Never thought I'd be doing something like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, that's my, my quick short testimony on porn and how it just dragged me to a dark place. But know this, there's good news at the end of this. I, Jesus found me, I found Jesus. I started to develop a relationship with Jesus. I realized that porn was in between me and God and that I had to take a spear and shove it down the heart of porn and kill it in order to get to Jesus. Because if I left it there and God, I'm sorry, here I go. God, I'm sorry. It's still there, right? I have to kill it by stopping. Amen, dude. And powerful testimony, dude. It takes a lot of strength to. Yeah, it's got me hard if I do say so myself. You want to bend me over this table and spank me over the Bible or what? To bring sin to light? Yes. And it's just so powerful and I just commend you so much for that. I'm serious. Yeah, dude, I appreciate it. Foreign language for me to admit stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this guy, by the way, is not, like, it's not, it doesn't take much for me. I used to hook up with transgenders and I would make LGBTQ decisions. <laughs> God delivered me from that. That's the original, where's the original video? That's the video I was trying to find. I think that's the funniest. Saying like, I used to make LGBT decisions is the funniest thing of all time. Like you're struggling with, oh here, homosexuality. For years upon years, I was watching transgender porn, femboy porn, all that stuff. I used to go on Grindr all the time, looking for a tranny to hook up with or transgender, whatever word it was, someone to hook up with and get off to. I struggled in the dark with homosexuality. He's woke, dude. Folks, he's woke. He knows he's not supposed to say that. For a very long time. 
and the Lord gave me a word. It's a long suffering. One of the fruits of the Holy Spirit is long suffering. Hassan's femboy masseuse, thank you for the five gifted subs, ceasing the suffering of five people at the top of the hour when there's a three minute ad break. A lot of you make LGBT decisions, and that's wrong. Just like seeing the top of the hour ad break is. For years upon years, I was watching transgender porn, femboy porn, all that. <laughs> Ryan, come back to me, Ryan. Wait. That's like not that long ago, 2022. Wait, Big Homie was doing it while saying, Big Homie was doing it while, while saying he's not doing it no more. Wait, hold up. That's crazy. Oh, hell no. It's fucked up, man. Ryan, I believed in you. As OnlyFans, no? Yeah, I mean, that's his OnlyFans. If you're struggling with homosexuality, endure faithfully. Megaphonics, Femboy Adjaprop, and Hassan's HRT dealer. Thank you for dealing people uh, away from uh, LGBT decisions. To God in Jesus Christ. Know that his eye is on you. He can see you. He sees everything. We're not getting away with anything. And homosexuality, fornication, idolatry, all these things, yes, it leads to hell for eternity. And you need to repent of it and turn from This guy should have said vaccines are the reason why he, like, you know, turned out this way. You know what I mean? That could have been another avenue for him. Like that, that uh, you know, the anti-vaxxer meta, he could have gotten off on that too and led him into doing LGBTQ decisions. So you do not go to hell. And place your faith in Jesus Christ. And the long suffering is one way that you'll get to know Jesus Christ better. That fruit of the Holy Spirit, long suffering. Every time you're tempted to go back to homosexuality. Bro, this dude keeps talking about how long and hard the suffering is. Like, I'm sorry. But, homie, you, you love things long and hard, it seems. Um, He's a real... Freak, I love him. He goes to the gym and like screams at people about like how they need to find God immediately. Okay. Oh, he's like anti. Wait. Oh my God. He's anti Catholic. Wait. What? He's like one of those guys that Catholicism. Today I had two detectives show up at my house church with the Catholics as who they're working with, and apparently the Catholics, the overseers of Houston, Texas, are trying to get in touch with the FBI to shut down what I have going on. Essentially, not allowing me. To uh oh. Uh oh, what is he? You only <laughs> wait, hold up. What do you mean? What do you have going on? The FBI is collaborating with the Catholics? What? Me to go into Catholic churches anymore. I suppose that's understandable when you come combating one of the devil's doctrines, knowing that it completely contradicts Jesus in Matthew wait, what? 6, 7 when it says not to pray in vain repetitions. Because what are you really doing when you pray the rosary? summoning evil spirits john 14 verse 6 it says there is no way to the father except through jesus christ these catholics are angry because their false religion is being exposed why is sex music playing dude because he's trying to fuck jesus wait so he's an evangelical who hates catholics based so what is he he goes to catholic churches and like shit up is that what it is he's right i'm a recovering catholic most evangelicals hate catholics i know but I mean, I, I've, I've, I've seen this, but I, I did not realize how far they took it. I feel like he just always goes to these ungodly, threatening to kill for preaching women need to dress modestly. This is heresy, the rosary. The rosary is heresy. Mother Mary is nothing. It's about knowing Jesus Christ. I'm telling you, Run from Catholicism. The rosary and Jesus tells us to sway away from repetitive prayer. This is real heresy. And the real problem going around right now. Bro, his eyes are way too close to one another, I think. Is the churches with this religion and this churchianity, and they're not even going to the biblical way of doing it. Catholics, when they get someone even crazier than them in church. Yeah, dude, that's awesome. He said rosaries are a depiction of Satan. Like, it's actually bringing up Satan. Protestant moment. Bro, Ryan, I love your enthusiastic preaching of the gospel, but Catholicism is the true church founded by Christ himself. I liked your passion, but this is a shame. Dude, there's a lot going on. This is a deep cut in Christ talk, folks. 
Christ Talk is not having Ryan Foley's antics, okay? They are very upset. The Catholic Church is the one true church founded by Peter. The Catholic is the true church. The Rosary is asking Mary to pray for us. Interrupting a, interrupting a mass is very inappropriate. Catholics do not worship Mary. Ryan, I love your work, but it's very childish to interrupt worship. What work do you love of him? When he talks about how he was making LGBT decisions? Like, what do you mean I love your work? He's a TikToker, man. Like, what... What work is he doing? Catholic talk talk. 55,000. Oh my God. TikTok has like, Christ talk is popping, dude. I have no idea. I had no idea shit was like that. Ryan thinks he's living in the Commonwealth of England. Wasn't Ryan's uh, uh, origination of Ryan's religion exclusively because one of the f kings wanted to divorce his wives without like cutting their heads off for once? Isn't that what like the, isn't that what his extension, isn't that what his opinion is an extension of basically like a modern rendition of that? No, Henry came after Luther. No, I'm not talking about, uh, I'm not talking about Martin Luther and, and, uh, and reformation in general, but I guess he's not. It's just one of their version. That's the church of England. Protestants came from great schism. Where do evangelicals, uh, fall in? I don't know. I don't know the history of evangelicals. Little bro didn't get the memo that Catholics witch hunt Protestants to other countries. Evangelicals are Protestants? No, I know. So it's what? Lutheran, Calvinist, and then evangelicals are an extension of that? Evangelical Protestantism? I thought evangelical just means like you you have to get people to convert. Like uh, uh, someone said in the chat, like a Christian MLM. Like you literally have to be annoying. The more annoying you are, the more evangelical you are. Evangelicals originated in 19th century America where plain-speaking preachers rejected academic theology in favor of plain readings of the Bible where there were no priests. Yeah, I thought evangelical comes from evangelizing, uh, w which is about, like, regularly trying to uh, change, actively try to get people to, to become also annoying like you. Like, it's like a, it's like a multi-level marketing scheme but not really for Christianity, but more so about being annoying. Like the most annoying person is the one that basically passes down being a nuisance to others. And the more people you can convert to being just as annoying as you, the more they can convert, you're like picking up all of the annoying points, which means you will survive when the rapture happens. You'll be sucked into the, uh, you'll be, you'll be sucked into heaven is like everyone else uh, that uh, didn't, everyone else that heard how annoying you were and didn't convert to also uh, become annoying and annoy others are going to die or they're going to be in hell in, in the fiery pits of eternal damnation, that kind of shit.